of logs and also the solutions or answers that you need to have in your log and exponential equations foldable. First off, what is a log? A log is an exponent. Our common log is 10. Take a look right up here. Oh, there we go. Log base A of Y equals X. If and only if Y equals A to the X. Notice X is an exponent. We're going to convert logarithms to exponentials. Sometimes when you do that, it's a little bit easier to see what answer it is you're looking for. To convert an expression from logarithmic form into exponential form, think push-up. You're exponentiating, but think push-up. The answer for a log of base b is an exponent. So let b, the base, push up the exponent to its superscript spot. I have log base b of x equals a. B is going to come underneath, and it's going to come over to the side with the A, but it's going to push the A up. The exponent got pushed up. Now, you've done these when you did your lesson. If you did your, the lesson, either online or with me in class, then you've done each one of these. But if you haven't or if you don't have yours right with you, go ahead and just take a moment to pause and run through these, think about what your answer would be. You're back. Did you, did the three push the four up? Did the four push the zero up? And the nine, the one? By the way, it's this base nine came over and pushed it up, okay? Remember, it's this guy comes here and pushes that up, okay? 10 pushed up quarter pushed up, the three pushed the one up, and the two pushed the negative three up. It's pretty easy to go from one to the other. And again, these aren't equations you have to solve. Everything's already there. It's like saying two plus three is five. Now make a subtraction problem. Five minus two is three. Just showing you how you can rewrite one and one using the other form, using its inverse. Now, Evaluating, this is just a quick review of evaluating. Remember that when you're asked to evaluate log base 2 of 64, in your mind you think 2 to what power gives yields equals 64? Well, 2 to the 6th is equal to 64, so log base 2 of 64 is equal to 6. Remember that a log evaluates to an exponent. Now here, when you have log base 1 half of 0 0.25, it's a little bit easier to change the 0.25 into 1 fourth. Why? Because then they're both in fraction form. And now you can think 1 half to what power gives 1 fourth. Well, if I square, one half, one half times one half will be one fourth. So log base one half of 0 0.25 is, oops, is two. Your base can be a fraction. Now remember one third to what power gives 27. I have to first think about, hmm, it's gonna be a negative. Now I need, so now that I made it a negative, I'm going to think 3 to what power gives 27, and that's 3 cubed equals 27. Since 1 third is the reciprocal of 3, 1 third raised to the negative 3, because the negative will flip it, make it a 3, then 3 cubed is 27. So negative 3 is my answer. Um, right here, it's your log and your natural log button. So if you've got a log base, you can use that button. If you've got, if you have a log that doesn't have a base listed, you can use the log button. Natural log is log base E. If you have a different one, you can click math 
and then scroll down until you see log, and I can't remember what's capitalized and what's not, but it'll say log base. And it will bring up on the screen log, and then a little box here, and a bigger box here, and you simply fill in whatever your base is and whatever your answer is, your value is. Now, on to your foldable. Make sure that you've got your foldable there so that you can follow along and put the answers in as necessary. Okay? This is going to be solving an exponential equation with common base. I have 3 raised to the 2x plus 6. The first thing I want to do is think about 81. Can I rewrite 81 using 3 as a base? And I can. So I'm going to have 3 to the 2x plus 6 is equal to 3 to the 4th power. And the more you work with these, the more you get used to 2s, 3s, 5s raised to the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th power. So now that I have like bases, I can essentially take the log base 3 of both sides, exponentiate, but use the same base principle. And 2x plus 6 is equal to 4. So remember, if the bases are the same and these values are the same, then the exponents have got to be equal. So then 2x is equal to negative 2. Divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to negative 1. The second one we have here is 2 raised to the 6x equals 8 to the x plus 5. I can rewrite 8 using 2 to a power. So I'm going to have 2 to the 6x is equal to 2 cubed. That's what 8 is. Then... I have to raise 8 to the x plus 5. Now remember that when you raise a power to a power, you multiply. And in multiplying, I have to distribute that 3. If you don't distribute the 3, you're going to have problems. So now you have 2 to the 6x is equal to 2 to the 3x plus 15. Now that you have like bases, you can set the exponents equal to one another. 6x is equal to 3x plus 15. Subtract 3x from both sides, and you have 3x equals 15. Now when I say subtract 3x from both sides, when I say that and do it, everybody's, yep, 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 following along. Really common mistake which when students realize they make it, it's kind of comical, but um, it's just a little brain fart. Subtracting 3x, I can't tell you how many times somebody will put down 2x equals 15. Remember, you're subtracting, not dividing here. Once you have 3x equals 15, now divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to 5. All right, let's move on to the next section, solving an exponential equation with different bases. That means there's no base that's common to both. 4 and 17. Well, 4 I can change to 2 raised to a power, but 17 is a prime number, so it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log base 4 of both sides. Okay. Log base 4 of 17. Now I have log base 4 of 4 to the x is equal to log base 4 of 17. What exponent do I put on 4 to get 4 raised to the x? That's just x. Notice that the log base and the base, if this base is the same as this, then they cancel. You can also think about the question again. What exponent is used on the base 4 to get 4 to the x? Well, that is just the exponent or x is equal to log base 4 of 17. Ooh, well, I don't know what that is. I know it's going to be 2 point something, but this is where you pull in your calculator. 
and we're going to do it both ways. Okay, you can use the change of base formula, which remember the change of base formula says that I have log of 17 divided by log of 4. And I'm just telling you this because there are going to be times where you might not have a fancy calculator. So if I do it this way, I can do log 17, close my parentheses, divided by log 4, and I hit enter, and I get 2.0437, blah, blah, blah. I could also, instead of using change of base, do math, scroll all the way down until I find log base, press enter. Now I can put in the 4 and the 17 and press enter, and I get the same answer. Okay, it's kind of up to you. Some people feel like finding the log base is just as many button pushes and time consuming. Neither one's difficult but time consuming as it is to just use the change of base formula. It's really your choice. Now, 8 to the x plus 1 is equal to 3. And I can change 8 to base 2, but I can't change it to base 3. So I'm going to use, since this is the thing that's got an exponent, I'm going to do log base 8 of 8 to the x plus 1 is equal to log base 8 of 3. This is going to be some kind of crazy decimal because I'm going from a big base to a smaller number. What exponent do I put on 8 in order to get 8 to the x plus 1? Well, I just put on x plus 1. Remember, log base 8 cancels with base 8. Now, I have log base 8 of 3. Before you find that, Realize you're just going to subtract 1. So if I write it out like this, and I'm going to put my parentheses in so I remember to do my parentheses, because what I want to do is I want to take the log base 8 of 3, get that answer, and then subtract 1. So again, it's entirely your choice. Um, I will do log of 8 divided by log, oops, clear, my bad, that should have been log of 3, take this number, close my parenthesis, divided by log of 8. I'm going to get that answer first. So now I know this value. Now I'm going to subtract 1. So I can just do second answer, that pulls this answer back, subtract 1 and I get negative 0.47. Again I could hit math, scroll down to log base, press enter and then I could put the 8 and the 3 and then I have to make sure that I get outside that parenthesis and subtract 1 and I get the same answer. So again your choice however you prefer using your calculator. But I do suggest you pick one way and stick with it. Solving a logarithmic equation. Now first off, recall, notice there's no explicit base written here. Since there's no explicit base, it's understood to be base 10. Since it's understood to be base 10, I'm going to take that 10 and push up. Now, I know that I'm going to put an exponent on this guy, and I'm going to square it, but I've got to push it up. So now I'm going to have 12x plus 16 is equal to 10 squared. 12x <clears throat> plus 16 is equal to 100. I'm going to subtract, now I just have to solve for x, I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. 12x is equal to 84. Divide both sides by 12. 
and I'm going to wind up with x equals 7. Now I do want to look at it and say if I plug 7 in here, 12 times 7 is 84 plus 16 is 100. Yep, I put the exponent 2 on 10 and I get 100. So I can do a quick check. For this next one, I have to remember that I need to isolate the log. Before I do my push-up, I have to have log base something of something is equal to a value. So I'm going to divide this side by 3 and this side by 3. Remember, this is 3 times the log of this thing. So I'm not dividing all this stuff. This whole thing here is one entire piece. So the 3 is going to cancel with the 3, and it's going to leave me with log base 3 of 9x plus 10. The parentheses are really important because it's saying I'm going to do 9x plus 10, and then the log base 3. Over here, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, I can do the push-up, and I can have 9x plus 10 is equal to 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 9x plus 10 equals 9. I subtract 1 from each side. 9x, or 1, I subtract 10 from each side, and I get negative 1. And then I divide both sides by 9. x equals negative 1 ninth. Okay? If I put negative 1 ninth in, 9, oops, negative 1 ninth. 9 times negative 1 ninth plus 10, that's 1, minus 1 plus 10 is 9, so I wind up with 9, 3, log, base 3 of 9, is equal to 6, and this is just my checking it, log base 3 of 9 is equal to 2, now I push up, 9 is equal to 3 squared, that's true, so it checks. Okay, over here is just where I am checking my solution. Okay? Now, what if I'm solving a logarithmic equation, same base on logarithm? Well, this goes the same idea as the exponentials. If the bases are the same, then what's inside the parentheses or the exponents have to be the same. So this is log of x plus 21 is equal to log of 2x minus 19. Since there is no base explicit, explicitly written on either one, they are both log base 10. So since they're both log base 10, I can take same base and make it x plus 21 is equal to 2x minus 19. If I subtract x from both sides, I'm going to get x minus 19. If I add 19 to both sides, I'll have 40 is equal to x. So this is going to be 80 minus 19. And you're going to get 61. Over here, this is going to be 40 plus 21 is 61. Log of 61 is equal to log of 61. Check. Finally, we have problem number 8. Log base 3 of 2x is equal to log base 3 of x plus 7. Okay. This can cancel with this, and notice I don't have anything else, it's just a log is equal to a log. So now I have 2x oops, okay. equals, got ahead of myself, equals x plus 7, subtracting x from both sides, x is equal to 7. To check it, log 
base 3 of 2 times 7, that's going to be 14, is equal to log base 3 of 7 plus 7, which is also 14, and it checks. Now, for the graphing, because you're, you will have graphing on your exam, here's the parent function, okay? When x is 1, y is 0, okay? Base 10, so 10 and 1. The graph of log base b x minus h plus k has the following characteristics. The line x equals h is a vertical asymptote. So if there's no plus or minus, it's just at zero. The domain is x greater than h, and the range is all real numbers because the sky goes down forever and this is going up forever, very slowly up, but still up. So domain is limited, range is all real numbers. If B is greater than one, if the base is greater than one, the graph moves up left to right. If zero is less than B, less than one, the graph moves down left to right. It basically has a reflection, okay? exponential parent function. The other was a logarithmic. This is the exponential function or the exponential parent function. We're using e as our base. h goes left right. k moves up down. a stretches and compresses. If the exponent is positive, then it's going to go up left to right. On the other hand, if the exponent is negative, then it would go down left to right. It's really hard to draw with mouse, but there we go. Okay, and it would be called decay. That is your quick review. Try some of the practice, practice a lot of the equations, practice the graphing, and you'll have this for your test.